This segment brought to you by Kansas Corn. Learn more at kscorn.com. Hello folks, today we have with us Curtis Capone and he's here to talk about some of the daily activities him and his family have throughout the year. Curtis, why don't you tell us about your operation? My family owns and operates the CX Ranch in Robonsi County, Kansas. We have a few spring calving cow and calf pairs that we run year round. In addition, we start to get in stalker cattle at the beginning of January and feed them throughout the winter. When the summer grasses are ready, beginning of May, we turn the stalkers out for a 90 day grazing period, ship them towards the end of July. So what kind of operations do you do throughout the spring to keep them in check? Well, to start with, we burn all of our pastures in the spring, which really helps the rate of gain on these steers, as opposed to unburned pastures. We have miles of fence to go around, roam traps, and native pasture fences that need to be checked and mended. So you guys have been getting a lot of rain uh, lately, correct? That is correct. Throughout May, we have accumulated 10 inches already. Is there any negative effects that it may have on the pastures? Not necessarily on the pastures, although it kind of gives us a little bit of extra work to do. We have a lot of crit gaps that need checked whenever we get even up to an inch of rain. We go and check every one of our crit gaps. So, so what is a crit gap? A crit gap is a spot where a fence crosses over a ravine or a crick. It is a section that stops at the fence and we have either a breakaway fence that can be wiped out by flood waters and debris or a free swinging crit gap that will swing out of the way when it gets plugged with debris. So what you're basically saying is when all these heavy rains come down, all these all the water goes down to the ravines and it washes out the, the fences. So you guys have to go and fix them. So what's the importance of fixing them? Well, if we didn't fix them, these steers and heifers and our pairs would be out and we'd be out chasing them, which is just more work in the end. So we'll go out every day. Doesn't matter how much rain we get and check the crit gap. How do you for say check them? Well, you go around to every spot that the fences cross a ravine and make sure that the crit gaps aren't plugged up with driftwood and grass and debris. And if it is, you shake all the debris out of them and throw it out of the crick. If the fence happens to be wiped out, you just wire it back into place. Well, Curtis, thank you for coming to join us today. We certainly appreciate it. And we wish your family good luck in the future and hopefully we keep getting more rain, but you guys don't have to do too much work in those crit gaps. Well, it'd be all right with me. Thanks for joining us. Tarwater Farm and Home has been family owned and operated since its beginning in 1978. What you need for farm and agriculture, lawn and garden, clothing and footwear, and so much more. You'll be surprised at what you'll find in this huge store. They have what you need and lots of it. So come take a look. You'll discover that customer service is first and foremost. Always has been with the Tarwaters. Tarwater Farm and Home, 4107 North Topeka Boulevard.